I think what's wonderful about Ford is that they put poetry in the spotlight, but also they bring audiences and people together. And I think to come collectively with a group of people and just share that enthusiasm, I think it's the energy and the joy of it that makes it so wonderful. It has this unerring accuracy for spotting the great poets of the future. It creates this perfect snapshot of what's happening in poetry at the moment. And it's always wonderful to see poetry as a kind of live experience. It's kind of poetry's equivalent of Comic-Con, in a way. I think the Ford has been an extraordinary enterprise in the fact that it's shifted this kind of feeling that poetry is not for us, and it's enabled a nation to interact with poetry in that way. Without getting specific, we are living in a very strange time when I think language is losing its meaning. And I think people deserve and need language that is actually going to give people a sense of hope and encouragement. And actually, actually that's what poets can do. And prizes like Forward, I think, are absolutely championing um, the fact that our language matters. So poetry is for everybody. And I think that's something that that needs to be encouraged for people to understand and to know that that art form is there as a kind of, as a saviour, as a kind of, as a kind of talisman, as a kind of something to hold on to. We're very passionate about poetry. It's changed my life and I've seen it change other people. I think it is something that makes the world a better place. If you have money to spend on an art form, then spend it on poetry. If you invest in, say, the forward prizes, you in in encourage this to keep happening. <laughs> There'll be generations of geniuses who might never have picked up a pen, who could perhaps come along to this thing at the South Bank Centre, see some brilliant writers, and write a masterpiece. If it weren't to happen next year, they might not attend, and those books would never get written. Thank you.